All right, today we are playing Heartbeat by Karma L. This level's really ancient, and I'm not gonna lie, I remember when this level came out. This was kind of like just the choke point level back in the day. Like always, I'm gonna go through it and give you some tips and tricks on how to beat it. So the beginning of Heartbeat isn't that bad. It's a bunch of double spikes, but it does get pretty inconsistent from zero. Uh, right here, coming up, there's gonna be a click right here on this slope right here. So if you look at my cursor, if you look right here on this slope, when you go on this slope, it pushes you up a little bit so that you're about to jump on here. Try to buffer the jump that you're about to do onto this slope, and you'll always pass this double spike. This double spike's really annoying otherwise. So as you can see, I mean do that. If you want to get the coin here, you want to tap really early and just hold your input button, and then you'll be able to get the coin right there. Right here, there is a few techniques you can do to uh, find where to go, since this is kind of a maze. So the first method that I did was I looked for where there was no spikes, which is this one, and I jumped through it. I don't know if this is the case, but it seems like this cloud that you're actually supposed to fall through has a lower opacity than the other clouds. I might be completely delusional, but if you look here, this one's a bit brighter than the other ones. The other way I was taught to do it, which I didn't really do, but it might be useful, is to let go at 7.5%. You should be able to get consistent with that relatively quickly. Right here, this transition's kind of poop for people because it looks like you're just supposed to spam like I am right here. But what I did was I held at the beginning to do a jump, and then I clicked two orbs fairly late. And then I was able to pass that each time. That's what I found to be more consistent, and if you're not able to spam well, that might just be more useful for you in the long run. Right here, I would just recommend clicking as least as possible. That way you can be more consistent with this part, because this part's pretty jank. Right here, I tend to just hit the last yellow orb in the middle. That way I can just buffer this next input right here, because otherwise this maze becomes kind of weird. Like if I were to buffer all these, I wouldn't be able to buffer it, but you could hit this pink orb. It just depends on what you find more consistent. I just found it more consistent to just hit these orbs late. And right here, I think you can, yeah, you can even get away with not pressing anything. So honestly, it's just a do your own kind of thing. But if you want to know what I do, I just hit this yellow orb and then I hit this pink orb and then I hit these two blue orbs. Make sure you're controlling your timings here. You don't want to over click or click too fast or else you'll fuck everything up. So yeah, just control your clicks here. Right here, you want to let go a bit early. So don't hit this last pink orb because I feel like the timings become more inconsistent. There's a lot of buffer inputs at this part. So be prepared for that. Uh, Cause if you don't buffer some of these inputs, the alignment becomes like really bad. But yeah, other than that, it's just knowing where to click. This ball part is really tough, mostly because of these two timings right here. As you can see, I'm messing them up even in slow speed. These timings do get kind of consistent. I can't really give you a good tip for this, but just try to learn that timing as well as you can. And then this dual ball isn't all that bad. Right here though, you can die a lot here if you find it awkward, because you may just do that where you hit the ceiling or you might just click a bit too late like that. That happened to me a lot from zero. This UFO part is just finding a click pattern. One of the most jank parts about the UFO is the entrance into it because the transition's kind of weird. So right here, you have two options. You could hit your head once and then just do two clicks like that so that you can actually align yourself downwards. Or you could do like me and then do three clicks and then click once to go straight down. Now this timing is a bit ridiculous. I didn't really like this timing, but you hit this early. You go into the yellow portal, then you hit the green orb, and then triple click, kind of. Do three really fast clicks, and then you should be able to get that alignment down. I'm not doing it well right now, but as you saw right there, uh, that's how you pretty, that's how I pretty much did it. You can probably find a better and more consistent way to do it, but that's just the way I found consistent. This last blue orb click right here is very awkward, but once you pass this, you have a relatively high chance of getting far. After this spam is a wave spam section, which is very infamous in the level. And I remember hearing a lot about it back in the days where i wasn't hating this game but yeah this part's really easy obviously if you're not good at wave or wave spam you're gonna find it a bit difficult but i have a feeling that most people would be able to do this part these transitions right here are a bit jank you should still get past them really easily specifically this one too i didn't like the transition into this green portal or the transition into this duel and out of the duel and if you're transitioning into this duel don't try to just spam like that Hit the ground first so that your waves are aligned. It makes it a lot easier. This transition into the dual portal is a bit weird, but you should get consistent with it if you practice it enough. 
And then after this last spam, you get to a ship part, which feels pretty RNG in my opinion. There are some awkward clicks, such as this green orb that I'm about to be clicking, and then this green orb. If you want the next coin, you're going to have to make a strange timing here, where you hit this pink orb and try not to die. And then that's the coin route. If you don't care about the coin, going up is probably the easiest course, since it's two easier clicks. And then towards the end here, I actually have a pretty good tip to make this part more consistent. You might know this already, but after I got to this robot part, I went to the first block, jumped, and hit the pad instead. Did the same thing on the second repetition. And then right here, you actually do the staircase, but you hold on the second uh, stair. And then once you get right here, press, hold, and then you get to those pink pads, press, hold, and then you get to the next pink pads. But uh, yeah, the last part, if you want the coin, you jump here, hit this pink pad, and then right here, you want to hit each of these orbs pretty late. You can't hit them too early or else you'll die, but you want to hit them just right basically but it's not too hard as you can see it like all the space is open and then for the last jump you just click and then hold and then you beat the level as always i'll save my opinions on heartbeat for after the video but uh, my experience from zero at this level is pretty rough just because i didn't find the first 40 percent to be that fun the other 60 percent of the level though is pretty easy it's just that the first half makes up for like all the difficulty in the level but yeah like i said i'll leave my opinions for after the video and yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> Kendrick Lamar, geez, Dude, this fucking makes my balls tingle. Oh, burm, burm, burm. Hi, did I just what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> what did you just do? Wait, what did you just do? Did you? Oh, I threw. I, I I think I think I reset when I died at the ball part too fast because I knew I was gonna die, so I didn't get the percentage for it. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. That shit part's so fucking awkward. It's like, you know that 143 click I kept dying at? It's like that yeah. click, but there's seven of those. Oh my god. Look at that progress loop, though. Let's go. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. I watched. Oh, yeah, I, I, I think I got all my coin quests. Wait, wait, wait. Before I clip it, hold on. Okay. That fluke from 75. That's not even really a fluke, but whatever. There's quests. And my quest. Let's go. <laughs> and that was Heartbeat. Heartbeat has a really weird gameplay flow where the beginning is difficult and then it becomes really easy and then it just becomes difficult out of nowhere again. And then the last 50% is like really easy like borderline insane demon difficulty i did give this level a 7 out of 10 enjoyment just because i got really lucky with it i beat this in the matter of like a day or two so 
I can't really complain with, you know, my experience with it. And as for decoration, I gave Heartbeat a 5 out of 10. A lot of the parts are definitely dated, as I remember this level looking a lot better when it came out, but overall the level still is decent. My final thoughts on Heartbeat though is that I generally wouldn't recommend it unless you really like Karma L. I don't know when I'm going to beat my next Karma L Extreme because my only options left are the really hard ones like EXO, Black Blizzard, and there's Elite Z Rebirth too, which I don't know if I want to beat Elite Z Rebirth. That's That, that level's impossible. But yeah, other than that, that was Heartbeat. Uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.